Hey everyone, this is Matt from Disney Lovers at Hershey Park. After months of waiting and watching the mysterious construction site at the where the former amphitheater once stood, adjacent to the hollow section of Hershey Park, the time has finally come that we finally now know what's being constructed there. Introducing the world's tallest and largest SNS scream and swing, Twizzler's Twisted Gravity will join the iconic Hershey Park ride lineup. I think it's awesome that the park chose to, to go with the Twizzlers theme with this, as there's really no Twizzlers themed ride within the park currently. The closest being the Twizzlers themed train of Candemonium, but so we're looking for, really forward to this. The ride will feature two gondolas featuring the famous Twizzlers Strawberry, Cherry, Hershey's Chocolate, and Black Licorice brands in which you can enjoy your flight over the hollow section of the park. This thing looks massive with a bright red and blue color scheme. I myself have never experienced an SNS Scream and Swing before, so I'm very excited about this and can't wait to try this out next summer. As you can see, the ride entrance and exit, as well as the, the ride queue line, are located along the lower creek path at the base of the actual ride area. It looks like there will also be stairs accessing the ride area from the ride queue line as well as a fast track queue as this attraction will feature the park's fast track system allowing guests to purchase a fast track or fast track unlimited pass to enjoy unlimited rides on this ride. The ride itself will be open all season which will include spring weekends, summertime, Hershey Park Halloween as well as Christmas Candy Lane which will be rather interesting. The attraction will feature two large gondolas where riders can choose their flavor in which to experience the attraction. Twizzler's Strawberry, Cherry, Hershey's Chocolate, and Black Licorice. Riders will need to be a Hershey's Height Category 48 to 54 inches in order to ride the attraction, which will be great for younger kids. Um, yes, I think that that will be great and allow more children of shorter height to be able to experience the attraction. I'm glad to see Hershey Park adding more Hershey Height related attractions to the park's ride lineup so that that's going to be awesome something else we also like to note are the stairs on the other side of the, of the attraction i don't know if this will be another access path to be able to, to reach the top of the hill by overlook if it is that will be an awesome shortcut to reach overlook from the hollow um, something else we also took notice and something that we've mentioned in our past vlogs for a while now is how over, the overlooked patio will be receiving an update as, you, as what can be seen in the concept artwork. Um, we would not be a bit surprised that new tables will be added to this area. Um, more tables um, and just an overall more open feel to the overlooked patio, which was desperately needed as this is, this is one of the mo more popular eating establishments within the park. So I'm happy to see this change as well. Nice to see this, these upgrades to the, to the hill area of the park as Kissing Tower Hill was originally Mine Town back in the, in the early 90s and is in dire need of an update. So hopefully we'll see some more updates and refreshes to Kissing Tower Hill along with the new Scream and Swing. So this is all looking awesome. Again, I think fantastic addition to Hershey Park. Um, one other thing that I must say that I'm not too fond of not with just this attraction, but with SNS screaming swings in general, or their low rider capacity. That's something Hershey Park could look at when it comes to choosing flat rides, is rider capacity, being able to hold more riders per hour and, and cycle people through the attraction as much as possible. Um, that's one thing Lightning Racer really does well, as, and, uh, as well as Wildcat's Revenge with the three trains as the rider capacity being able to, and in Candemonium as well, being able to cycle so many people per hour and per ride cycle. So hopefully there will be more coasters, more flat rides that will be added in the future that will have large rider capacity, which will be a plus for the park as, as they continue to grow and expand. But yeah, but overall, even still, still fantastic addition to the park where it's placed. I think this is probably one of the best, or if not the best, scream and swing placement that I that I know of in the amusement industry being placed right on top of the hill. Um, kudos to Hershey Park for this. Um, 
they always come up with the unexpected and being able to squeeze its rides in areas where we don't think that they would be able to, to do it. Great Bear is a perfect example of that. Uh, yeah, Sky Rush is another one. It's just yeah, it's just amazing of what what Hershey Park can do with an attraction and squeeze it in such a, a tight space. So kudos to Hershey Park management for this, and and we we really look forward to checking out this attraction next year when it's. So yeah, let us know what you th- think of this new ride, this new, this new attraction, uh, what you think of the theme of it. Um, let us know in the comments below what you think of this, and. Um, We look forward to seeing your comments, seeing what you guys have to say about this. Is it a great addition to Hershey Park? Do you think it's a great addition to Hershey Park? Or do you think they could have done something better, going to have went with something better, something with a better rider capacity? With that said, I'm going to conclude this video. And um, be sure to like our two Facebook groups, as well as um, follow us on Twitter slash X. Um, Like and subscribe us on YouTube, as well as follow us on Instagram. And that said, I I look forward to seeing you in the park very soon. And um, have a magically sweet day, everyone. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check us out on our social media channels, including our Facebook group, where you can meet other fans as well as join in on the various discussions of both Disney and Hershey. Let us know what else you would like to see for future episodes on our channel. Until then, thank you for watching and have a magically sweet day.